Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Gizmo Guru. This week we're looking at Milagro's Coupa X11 Windows tablet. It runs Windows 7, so in essence, it's like walking around with a small laptop minus the keyboard. There are a lot of plus points to that which I'll get to in a minute, but the biggest downside is that the Coupa is also as heavy as a laptop. It weighs almost a kilo, so it's not really comfortable to carry for long periods of time. Also, the decision to use Windows 7 is a little hard to understand. After all, Windows 8 is just around the corner and specifically designed to work on tablets. So, is the Coupa 11 really a good buy? Well, that depends. On paper, it sounds great. I mean, as you can see from the stats here, it's got a 10-hour battery life and an HD screen. There's 64 GB of storage on the base model and it has a dual-core 1.6 GHz CPU. Plus, there are two USB ports here for pen drives and dongles. There's also an HDMI out for presentations. The tablet supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 3G. And there's a SIM card slot over here. For 54,000, that's a pretty good deal. There are some good touches too. Installing programs is easy. There's no App Store. So, for example, if I want to install Chrome, well, let me just show you how that works. Just start Internet Explorer here and it's going to just load up the Google home page and now you can see the install Google Chrome button here you just tap that exactly the way you would do things on your computer and there you go it's installing Chrome that's the big draw here really it's a computer and you can carry it with you now another nifty feature is handwriting recognition let me just start so what I'm going to do is over here the text tool let me just show you. So it's really fast and really accurate. That's because Microsoft's handwriting recognition is superb and it's really easy to use the stylus to enter text. And if the stylus is not your thing, you can use a virtual keyboard or attach a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. The whole setup gives the user a lot more flexibility than an Android tablet or the iPad, but that comes with a loss of speed and a lot of weight. In all, Milagro's tablet is a mixed bag, but what it really does is get me excited for what the coming wave of Windows 8 tablets are going to look like. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.